You know who shot your brother. Why haven't you told the police? Uh, if I knew, if I knew, I would have told him. Give me a polygraph, please. <laughs> please. You don't know who shot your brother? No. And if I did, I don't even think I'd let the cops have their chance. I love my, I love James. He was so my older brother. This, this person that you were going to be in the house with, mm -hmm. he, he called these people? So naturally. He called them to come over? Naturally, that's what we all suspected. So I went out after this, you know, after he had died, after the funeral, and I started my own investigation, you know, because I feel I'm going to get more answers than the cops will. You know, if you know it comes to the, uh, the underworld, the street mentality, uh, it's, you know, you don't talk to the cops. I mean, even me, by me coming on this show and talking, you know, I'm putting my own, you know, life at risk, but, you know, we, me and James didn't live that lifestyle. You know, we, if we hadn't been doing the things we were doing, hanging out with the people we were hanging out with, he would still be here, and I acknowledge that. But that wasn't our lifestyle. If me coming on this show and telling you everything I know and you using your resources, and it helps find well, the person Well, didn't it time to this. bust this whole thing wide open? I mean, were you the intended target? No, that's... That's been said a couple of times, Dr. Phil. I think Ryan and James were so close that I think he knows he's just not able to I think he knows more details. I think that he probably knows who that car was. Were you the intended target? That's what I was, that's what I've been told. By who? There was um, this story, um, you know, thank God for my mom and these, these other two. I mean, they've, the Bakersfield Three uh, has gained so much um, publicity, uh, uh, FBI profiler uh, in Chicago heard about the story and she works, she's a psychic and she reached out to our law enforcement to be put in touch with my mom and apparently James has come to her and told her names, uh, people's tattoos, description of vehicles and apparently um, according to her I was the intended target. That's where that information comes from. You're going to this house where you're going to watch a movie and, and eat a pizza and just hang out with this guy, but you said he owes your brother money. Um, after the fact, that's what, we, that's what I found out. Okay, and at your the brother's time. there knocking on his door and he's saying, you need to get out of here or I'm going to call my, my, my buddies and they're going to come over here strapped and take care of you. Isn't that what you said? That's what he told me, yes. He didn't tell that to my brother. He said, your brother called, tell him that, you know, I don't want him here, and if I have to call my boys, and like I said, my brother and I were arguing at the time. Okay, so this so, was a friend of yours, and your brother knew him too? Yes. He's a friend of yours enough that you're going to watch a movie and eat a pizza with him? Yes. So you know who his boys are? Um, I don't know who he was referring to. You know this guy. And he tells you hours before this happened, a couple hours before this happened? Probably about, yeah, you could say hours. Hour, yeah. hour and a half, that he's told your brother, or he's told you, he has said out loud that he's going to call his boys that are going to come over strapped. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, within an hour and a half, some people show up and shoot your brother. Yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. So, but like I said, there's a lot more to this than what's been said.